Welcome to this video on multiplication. Uh, I'm going to work with the multiplication 23 multiplied by 19. I'm going to do this using several different methods of multiplication. Uh, I'm going to go through three different methods. These aren't the only ones. There are plenty out there for to choose from. Uh, so I'll start. So I'm doing the long multiplication method first. So this is 23 multiplied by 19. I do like this. So 9 multiplied by 3 is 27. So I put my 7 units down and I carry these two tens. I'm going to use them in a second. And I do 9 times by 2 is 18. And this is where I add on these two. So 18 plus the 2 is 20. So I write my 20 down to give me 207. So 9 multiplied by 23 is 207. I can then work on the next bit. So this 1 is actually a 10. Because it's a 10, I need to write a 0 down before I start. So 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. If I hadn't written this 0 down to start with, and I'd have just done 1 times the 3 is 3, and 1 times the 2 is 2, my answer would only be 23. Now 23 is a big difference from 230. So it's very important that we have this 0 in. Next step is to add these together. So I'm doing 207 add 230. So 7 plus the 0 is 7. 0 plus the 3 is 3. 2 plus the 2 is 4. So my answer to 23 multiplied by 19 is 437. The second method I'm going to go through is called the grid method. The grid method involves splitting up this 23 and 19 into the tens and units. So 23 would become 20 and 3 and 19 would become 10 and 9. And then I draw a grid. So I give each of these numbers like their own box. So then we work with these numbers. So 20 times by 10. The easy way to do these would be what's 2 times 1? So that's 2. And then count how many zeros we've got. So we've got 1 zero, 2 zeros. So the answer must have 2 zeros on the end. 3 times by 10, so 3 times 1 is 3, 1, 0, so that's 30. 20 times 9, well 2 times 9 is 18, 1, 0, and 3 times by 9 is 27. To get my final answer, I just need to add up all the values in each of these boxes, so 200 plus 30, plus 180, plus 27, and that will give us our 437. The final method I'm going to go through has several different names. It's known as the Chinese method, uh, the Lattice method, and a couple of other names besides. Uh, this also involves a grid. Uh, so I start with a grid. But instead of splitting it into 20 and 3, I just write 23 and I write the 19. The big difference is that I draw diagonal lines through these boxes. So each of these boxes is now split into like tens and units. Tens units. So when I do 2 times by 1, that's 2. So there's no tens in 2 and there's 2 units. 3 times by 1 is 3, so that's no 10s, 3 units. 2 times by 9 is 18, so that's 1 10 and 8 units. And 3 times by 9 is 27, so that's 2 10s and 7 units. To get my answer now, I need to add up these diagonals. So I'd add up 7. Next one, 3 plus 2 
plus 8, that's 13. So I write 3 down, I carry 1 into the next diagonal. So then I do 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. And I've only got a 0 in this diagonal, so I don't need to add anything up there. So now I've added these up, I've got 4, 3, 7. So that's 437.